Hi, hi, hi. My name is Brimo, and you're watching The Mix on Indani TV. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure what to say about that, but all I know is um, <clears throat> the music is, is exactly what keeps me going. And um, the journey has been quite, quite fruitful. It's been an amazing one. And I, yeah, I love being a musician. And I'm starting from the days in Okoko Michael up until now. It's just sort of gotten better and better and better. Uh, I'm the testimony to, to the saying that you never truly lose in life. Even when you don't win, you learn. And so, yes, I, I would like to say that I've, I've never truly lost anything. It's just gotten better and better and better and better. So, yeah, it's, a, it's been an amazing journey. Uh, the most rewarding thing about being an artist will be the freedom of expression that I get, that I enjoy a lot of actually. Uh, uh, yeah, the freedom of expression, the, the, the right, the free hand to, do, to say whatever I want to say, however I want to say it. Of course, if you step on somebody's toes, they might come, and, they might come for you. But um, that is the beauty of artistry. You have the opportunity to, to write however you want. To, uh, to code however you want to code, whatever you want to say. So I can say whatever I want to say and throw punches at someone and the person wouldn't even know it. You know, so that freedom of expression is the, is the actual reason why I'm, 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 I'm an artist. I think that's the most rewarding for me. Uh, yes, that, that freedom of expression. Uh, when I make music, mm, I, I think uh, for me, the, the process is never like a constant. It, it, it varies, the system changes from time to time. There are some days when I just have a line in my head, ringing off in my head, sometimes just a melody, and I have to put words to it. Sometimes it's a, a, a sentence and the melody that comes with it. It's just like different, different processes. But um, mostly, I write when I'm alone, in the middle of the night. Uh, sometimes I go out with my friends, sometimes I'm just with family. And then at midnight, I just I get this urge to put something down. And then, yeah, so I start. But mostly I write at night. Um, for about, say, four or five years, every time we would have a concert, say, Organized Chaos, or even uh, Brambo Live at Terra Culture, which we've had like three separate editions by now, I think. Uh, Every time we had the concert over the last few years, we would try to, to uh, record that concert live and we will endeavor to mix, master and release <clears throat> as a live album. But we just never got to do it first, second, third, fourth year until this year Boomplay showed up and they made that happen. So yes, it was, it was a beautiful thing. The album was inspired solely by the concert itself, Primal Live at Culture. And um, shout outs to my team. Uh, from Larry Lawal of the Bill Music to Mickey Me Josie's of, of Making Sounds Factory, you know, um, amazing people, amazing people, and they made all that possible. And um, yeah, the concert, the live album was inspired by the concert. Them they go, them they go, them they go, them they fight, them they quarrel, them they go. One silly, the other sneaky, the other sleazy. I tell them if them no hungry, make them scatter, go their separate ways. <laughs> All right, guys, those are a few lines from the song, Them They Go. Uh, in collaborations, I'm mostly looking for connection, chemistry, artistic chemistry. I'm mostly looking forward to uh, making music with someone who gets me. Oh, we just blend, you know, there's no, no, no tough talk. We hang together and we talk and we get along and it's just it just flows, and my spirit uh, sort of um, agrees with theirs and that's it. We start making music. It's it's rarely about getting paid or not. It's about that connection. Of course, you have to deal with black afterwards, and <laughs> sort out the business. But um, uh, the most important thing is always that connection between artists. Uh, most controversial, I don't know, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure, uh, but I think um, 
It's be, it be somewhere between the the clitoris title for the album or the you know wearing the line cloth for AR video I guess we has been one of the two <laughs> I, I'm not sure <laughs> yeah um, I simply wanted to to describe in, in pictures a bushman who, who came who was in the city uh, in, my, in my opinion that's that's how I see most of us dark, dark skinned people I, I feel like we are uh, villagers in cities yeah, because the cities we live in we didn't necessarily uh, invent, the te invent the technology that, that sort of built them we imported all of that technology if we are to we have to we have to be sincere to ourselves we all are still from villages where there are more mud houses than brick houses and um, uh, for me that is how I like to see myself as a black man to be honest I, in the modern times, I contribute little or nothing to the advancement of the world I currently live in. And if, if the foreigners were to come and take their grand piano away, and their high rise in the distance and the bridges, we'll all be left with that loincloth, you know? And so that was just my way of wanting to put people's attention to the fact that we need to sort of do more and, um, uh, for the, our surroundings, you know? We can just start with being honest, with just being uh, sincere and, and been dedicated to uh, the concept of Nigeria itself, first of all, our own country. You know, if we're patriotic to, to our country, things will start happening, miracles will happen. And before you know, we'll start making big, big contributions to the world. Yeah, that's, that's super, super, super beautiful. And um, we all uh, are reaping from all of these amazing opportunities. Uh, Myself, I get to, I, I get to uh, enjoy a lot of international accolade, a lot of international fan base, and uh, so it's a beautiful thing that music has gone global like it's doing. You know, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm currently enjoying Joe Boy's Baby, and um, uh, for me, that's my song of the year, <laughs> locally. Uh, what else? My second song will be. Oh, it's a song by Labyrinth and Sia. It's an album by Labyrinth and Sia. I was listening earlier. Uh, in fact, the entire album. That's my number two and three songs. <laughs> Send from heaven. <laughs> oh my God. I'm oh gonna disappoint me. <laughs> Dollar dollar bill, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I hope I, I, I got at least one right. <laughs> what? I can't remember any song I like that with the word Nigeria in it. Actually, I think I need to fix that. Most of the songs I know with Nigeria in it are quite whack. Yeah. I need to write a song about Nigeria. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know anyone. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brimo, and you just watched The Mix on Andani TV. See ya. <laughs>